What is this current hairstyle you have called? These dreads. Now, is there a meaning behind your hair? Um, yeah, it's says lifestyle, rock star. I'm, I'm really, really, I'm a real rock star. I like rock star stuff, like the hair, the tats, um, the jeans, the chains. Um, it's a lifestyle, so this is an expression of myself. You know, it's all everything I went through is in my hair. What about the hair color? Is there any specific meaning behind that? Um, actually, no. Uh, it's just fashion. You know, I just like to switch up my style. You know, so um, my hair is actually naturally brown. So I wanted to try a little lighter look and see how it looked, and I actually liked it. Anyone in particular inspired this hairstyle for you? Um, yes, actually, um, my brother, um, he got dreads. Um, my brother Nard, he got dreads, and I always wanted, to, I always wanted them. So one day I just got up like, man, I'm gonna grow some dreads. And that's how it happened. And is this a biological brother you're referencing? Nah, this is, okay. yeah, this is a, well, a real close, close friend of the family. Now, was this already a trend at the time when you began your journey with it? It, it wasn't as big as it is now. No, it wasn't. On the opposite end of the spectrum, has this hairstyle of yours inspired others? Yes, definitely. Um, a lot of people was, especially where I'm from, was really scared to lock their hair up, you know, to, and just like the nose ring um, until I got it. You know, I don't really play it safe. I try it, I try it once. If it work, it work. If it don't, it don't. And is this an assumption or is there actual proof of this? Those actual facts. I mean, if you sit down and talk to anybody, they'll say, you know, the first dude with the dreads and the, the rockish look and the chains and the fitted clothes was, was Big Hayes. It was Hayes the Punter. I was the first dude to do it. And what areas is this that you're referencing here? A New Haven, New Haven, um, Elm City. I'm talking about as far as like in the inner city, not not the outskirts. I'm talking about as far as like the trap, as far as the trenches. You know, people ain't wear me coming up. They ain't wear fitted clothes. They wore baggy, you know. They wore baggy stuff, oversized stuff. Now, how long have you been growing the length seen on camera today? Um, let's see, probably about seven years. Maybe about seven years. And are you keeping it at this particular length or you just letting it grow at this point? Well, I cut it about four times. It was, it was way longer than this. It just started getting heavy, you know, when it get wet, it get heavy, you know, it always get in the way. I, so I cut it about four times. It was longer than this. How long did it get? It should probably down to like, uh, like the bottom of my back probably. And right now, would you say it's safe to say maybe midway to your back at this point? Yeah, it's about midway, maybe a little lower. This is, this is, the, this is the longest I'm going to do it, though. I'm not doing no longer. And what's the plan with it? Just keeping um, this look? Yeah, this is, this, this is a part of me. This is, you know, this is part of my brand, you know. We're going with the rock star lifestyle. Like, you know, that's, that's, what, that's what I'm representing. And no disrespect to this next question. Okay. But is this all your original hair growth? Yes, yeah, yeah, it is, yeah, yeah. Now, what is your opinion on that? Males getting weave or hair extensions to get the look you have on camera today? It's me personally, I, I wish I, they would have had it back, you know, when I was getting, growing it because you skipped the rough stage, <laughs> you know what I mean? But it's also an experience too, so um, how I feel about it, I mean, you know, each his own, but I, I mean, I would never, because I like the experience. You know, you go through the rough. It's the joy of now that it's locked, it's full, it's long, and I went through the process of it. So it's an accomplishment for me. So, I mean, you know, it's, it's, I don't really feel no type of way about it with them, but if I had to do it all over again, I'd do the same process. What about those that did have this length at one time? Okay. Cut it and then had them put back in at another point in time. Yeah, I mean, that's, I mean, I had to have a um, couple fixed, like, you know, a couple break, they break off, they get heavy, you know, when you dye them, they fall out. So, I mean, yeah, that's, that's a good thing because, you know, if you, if you, if your hair breaks off or get pulled out or something happens, you can reattach it. Now, in regards to your hair growth, do you do anything special or take anything special for this? Now, I don't take anything, but I do treatments. Um, 
I do oil treatments, natural oil treatments, everything organic. You know, you gotta grease your scalp, you gotta grease your ends. Gotta make sure, you know, you keep up. It's, it's maintenance, you know what I mean? So, um, if you don't take care of it, you know, you're gonna block your, your you know, you're gonna block your hair molecule, it's not gonna grow. So you definitely gotta, definitely gotta stay up with it. And you know, and it smells too if you don't take care of it. So you have to take care of it. Any names or brands to this oil that you use? Actually, my um, my boy's uh, girl makes them. So, um, yeah, her name is um, Tiffany Williams. She do everything. She do bear oil, and she does organic things for women. She do it all. So that's what I use. I use hers. Everything all natural, natural everything on it. And how often do you do this treatment to your hair? Once a uh, once a month. Once a month, once once maybe once a month, once every two months. Is this your first? Even though you've cut it four different occasions, is this your first attempt with this hairstyle, or have you done this before? Nah, first that was my first attempt. I never. First time I tried it, I kept them. And when it comes to maintenance, aside from the oil treatment, anything else you do that you care to share? You know, besides washing it, conditioning it. Um, you know, go get it retwisted. That's about it, nothing else. Um, I know there's a lot of detoxes and stuff out there, but I, I don't mess with those because I'm afraid my hair getting stripped, so I don't mess with it. How often do you wash, condition, or retwist? Um, wash, physically wash it maybe like every two months, but they got stuff called dry shampoo. I do that like every couple weeks. What about uh, retwisting? Um, that maybe every four months. I mean, the, the longer, the longer your hair grow, or the longer your hair gets, you don't want to keep retwisting them too much because they thin out. So you know you got to kind of let it. You know, as messed up as about a sound, you got to kind of let it be dirty a little bit. And the conditioning that comes with the shampoo treatment? Yeah, that's separate. I guess separate conditioner. Um, but that gets, sorry for lack of uh, wording here, but that gets done at the same time simultaneously? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So you wash it, condition it, you wash the conditioner out. It's a process. It's like, I get my hair washed like three times, I get my hair conditioned like three times, and then I'll just sit there. Three times at one That's just one sitting. sitting. Yes, one sitting, yep. Care to share what products or brands you use for any of this stuff? Oh, my hairstylist, whatever she has. Um, I was using, um, it was jam, but she don't like the jam, so I don't use jam no more. She, so she, I think she does natural products too. Care to share this stylist that you use for your hair? Yeah, her name's Kim. She actually uh, styles my hair and actually uh, does my lineup too. So she a one-stop shop. I get everything done with her. And what part of the world is she located in? New Haven, Connecticut. And how long have you been using her for? Um, years. Uh, maybe about, so let me correct that. Um, the person that started my dreads is named Tara. So she's actually, when it comes to my dreads, she's actually the main source of the person that does the dreads but she's very busy so the lady that does which name is kim that does my lineup she's my backup she's more available than tara is so and do they work with each other or under the same company or they're two separate not nah, two separate yeah two separate yeah now in your opinion what's the best thing about this hairstyle the attention, you know, they just, sometimes females just want to touch it, or you know, they, it's the compliments, you know. But the attention is the best. You get attention everywhere you go from all different races too. So probably the attention is the best thing about it. And on the opposite end of the spectrum, worst thing about this hairstyle? Um, they think you a thug. You know what I'm saying? You got dreads, you a thug. How do you cope when that happens? I mean, I really don't pay no attention to it. I mean, I know thugs with short haircuts. 
know, I know thugs. I know clean cut thugs. I know ball headed thugs. So you know, I don't pay attention to it. And what's something you've done to your hair you'll never do again? And doesn't have to be in regards to this particular hairstyle. Could be another hairstyle you had at some point in your life. Oh, probably a fade. I had a high top fade when it was getting popular. A little high top fade. I'll never do that again. Why not? Um, I th- I just outgrew it. You know, I think I think that's more for um, that was more for that time at the time. I think I outgrew it, and I don't I don't think I'm gonna get rid of the dress no time soon. And remember what age this was that fade that you're the, describing. The fade, uh, yeah, I'm like I'm like twenty, I'm like twenty three ish. 